Elvis Presley and His Vehicles Part 11 The 1950 Chevrolet Panel Truck By the summer of 1956, Elvis and his parents had settled in their new home at Audubon Drive in Memphis. That summer and fall, they updated the property to fit the Presley family needs. They planted trees and bushes, built a fence, a giant pool in the backyard with a vegetable garden next to it and turned the carport into a garage. Lastly, a huge den was added to the back of the house in December of 1956. During these projects, Elvis and Vernon felt they needed a truck for transporting all the building material, furniture etc. In mid-July 1956, Elvis found a used 1950 Chevrolet panel truck which would do the job. Chevrolet trucks have changed a lot over the years, with each generation offering unique features that help them redefine what a pickup was capable of. In June 1947, Chevrolet introduced the first post-war generation of trucks called Advanced Design. These trucks were sold with various minor changes until March 1955, when a new generation replaced it. The 3805 model was a one-ton medium-duty panel truck with two rear doors. It was equipped with a 235 cubic inch six-cylinder engine producing 92 horsepower, mated to a three-speed manual transmission. The panel trucks were mostly used by painters, electricians, florists, carpenters and other craftsmen. This photo from Elvis' home on Audubon Drive is from late July 1956. We can see the pink 1955 Cadillac in the background. The car the lady is leaning against is the purple 1956 Lincoln, which Elvis bought on July 21, 1956 and traded just two weeks later for the now famous 1956 Continental. The truck in the picture though? Well, recently it hit me that the 1950 Chevy panel truck in this picture is actually the one Elvis bought for the Audubon home improvements. This photo was shot before Elvis and Vernon had the panel truck repainted in black. These photos are shot just a few weeks later, also at Audubon Drive. Behind Elvis is the 1950 panel truck, now sporting a new black paint job. Vernon was cheap, so the paint job was of very low quality. The passenger side clip-on rearview mirror was removed at the repaint. When the Presleys moved to Graceland the truck was brought there. This image is from a video shot at Graceland in late 1957. Behind the building we can see the black 1950 Chevrolet truck. Anita Wood, Elvis' girlfriend in 1957 remembers, you know Elvis still had an old black panel truck and we would get in it and he would drive me down to Lauderdale Courts to show me where he used to live. He would show me around Memphis and nobody would ever bother us because they really didn't recognize him in that truck. In this photo from early 1960 we can see the truck parked behind Graceland. During the 1960s and early 1970s the old black panel truck was mainly used to haul garbage to the dump. Occasionally though, Elvis would put on a cap and a jacket and go off by himself through the Graceland back exit with a bunch of bananas and a gallon of ice water and just drive around Memphis by himself, and was unnoticed in the truck. Sometimes he would go north of Elvis Presley Boulevard to Bellevue Park and watch the girls play softball. They never knew he was watching them. September 6, 1966 Three of Elvis's vehicles parked at the back of Graceland. In the front is the 1959 Fluxible VL100 bus he bought in late 1965 for use as transportation between his homes in Memphis and Los Angeles. In the background we see the 1960 Jeep Surrey and the 1950 Chevrolet panel truck. In the late 1970s the truck started to look sad and deteriorated. It hadn't been used for some years now and was put on its final resting place next to a shed behind Vernon's office. This photo is from 1981, just a year before Graceland was opened to the public. The truck is still sitting in the same spot. One of Elvis' horses and the black panel truck. This photo from 1984 is one of the last of the truck while parked behind one of the sheds out back. In the early 1990s the 1950 Chevrolet panel truck was put up in long-term storage in one of Graceland's archive buildings together with a few other of Elvis' cars. A few years ago on the Discovery Velocity program on Mary Carna, host Ray Evernham visited Graceland and talked with a Graceland maintenance guy about the Chevy panel truck. These pictures are from that program. Link in the description. In the episode they say that the black panel truck is a 1948 model. Other sources say that it's a 1953 model. The truth is that the truck is a 1950.
The VIN on Elvis Black Panel Truck starts with the HCA where the letter H describes what model year it is. On this generation of Chevrolet trucks H stands for the year 1950. So 1950 it is. The interior is very simple, far from the luxury of Elvis other cars. The only option on the truck is a radio, which Elvis had some trouble adjusting. Therefore, two radio stations have been scratched on the dashboard. KDM 1468 and KDR 7017. The 1950 Chevrolet panel truck is actually the car Elvis owned the longest, after the famous pink 1955 Cadillac. He owned it from July 1956 to the day he died. I really hope Elvis Presley Enterprises decides to restore this truck and put it in the Presley Motors Museum in the future. Or why not do this, clean it up a bit and put it there right away. It was not intended to be a shiny car, like the others, just a simple work truck which comes with a very interesting story. And that is it, on this subject. Thanks so much for watching and please subscribe for more episodes about Elvis cars.